Today we create Christmassy photo uh, with those beautiful Christmas atmosphere by using Lightroom Classic and super cool features mask. So if you're with me, just launch your Lightroom Classic and let's dive into the tutorial. So here you can see the photo I choose for uh, today's tutorial. Uh, please pay attention that this photo is already with Lightroom preset, so you need to apply the preset to like make a beautiful color grading. I just wish photo to show you how it will look before and after. Before preset, after preset. Okay, so to start create a real magic for your photo, uh, just open the mask section. Here we need to find a tool that named brush. I will open the mask section. So right now at this moment you have some default brush and we need to make some change here and adjust brush to our uh, goals. So I will just decrease a little bit the size. Uh, I will make zero feather, so it will means that brush will be strictly with uh, very harsh lines or harsh circles you will see right now uh, and the flow will be 100% so we could see perfectly a place where we make spots density also 100% I will just increase a little bit so when you made those changes just start to click over your photo in different places uh, spots like this you can make brush bigger and smaller and just to make those random spots and keep in mind that in few minutes we will make those spots bright and Christmassy. I would like to put here a little bit. Okay, looks nice. I don't touch area of the face. We will not look so beautiful if you will cover your face with spots. When you put the spots on the photo and you're happy with the common picture you see, just go into the section that allow us to make uh, further adjustments to the mask. So just to give you some idea, uh, all adjustments we will do right now uh, will strictly limit it by those spots, by those red areas that you can see. Okay, so we increase exposure Oh, it already looks beautiful, <laughs> but wait a minute. Uh, so we increase the exposure just, just on your eye, okay? When you see it looks really good, you can keep it. I would like to add yellow tint to the lights. Also, I would like to decrease highlights. And I would like to add a tiny of white. Go down, we decrease texture and we decrease sharpness because we don't want that something were visible uh, through those lights. Okay, a little bit more exposure and I like the result. But it's not the end, I will show you a little trick right now. It already looks pretty good, it already looks so Christmassy. But okay, click on those three dots and duplicate the mask. So basically we created just the same mask uh, that was applied over our previous mask. But you can see that the effect is too harsh to add more reality to this filter. We need to drag a bit. Uh, the second mask on the top you can see this little uh, brush icon so we drag just a little bit to create this like you know double exposure effect uh, but this is not the end now you click subtract and brush and the magic will happen right now because we will erase uh, the areas that we think may look perfect just with one mask for example i don't like this i think here a bit a here maybe here I like this effect really how it double exposure I like this effect maybe here is too much so I will erase here a little bit of here done and I really love it so right now we need to uh, add some depth to the photo uh, we need to create a new mask and choose select subjects so I would like to highlight a little bit subjects on the photo so just a touch of exposure and a touch of white maybe a little bit yellow just to make it like a warm to make those lights really spark uh, we need to manipulate a bit the ground so we click on three dots and choose duplicate and invert the mask so now only background is selected and we need to decrease exposure a bit and i would like to take away the contrast maybe with exposure and pretty much that's it. Just look on the before and after. It's 
it looks amazing. Okay, guys, that's it. Hope you really enjoyed this Lightroom Classic tutorial where we created a Christmassy atmosphere for the photography. And if you really did, please let me know by your thumbs up, by your comments, and of course, by subscribing on my channel. It's really important for me. And I hope you will have a wonderful day and for sure you will have a merry, merry Christmas. See you soon. Bye-bye.